Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I thought I better report on this one because I didn't know anything about it. And maybe many of you don't either. It's just a 4 minute, 44 second video by Dabu77. Today is Saturday. I'm sorry, it's Friday still. <laughs> August 28th and it's 6.10 p.m. I don't know why I keep thinking it's Saturday. He put this up the 27th. All right. So let, let me play you a little bit of it. Across the country, we have witnessed what looks to be the beginning of a second wave of chaos. Now, a couple months ago, we had witnessed many different cities get ransacked, and there were some earmarks that were on all these events that let you know that they were designed and put together by one group of individuals at the top. Whether other smaller groups are mimicking or being trained you know, by other groups and subgroups are springing from them, we were seeing that they were using the same tactics, the same logos, the same everything. The, the way that they were operating through and through. Now, those same characters are on the scene at the same time that we see chaos springing into motion from not just one event, but what looks to be several different shooting events here. The most recent being in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Where they're saying a man was shot by police on, on footage, and I did a separate video of this, where I break down everything happening there. The suspect involved, they've arrested him, and all the back and forth there, and that's still something we have to wait for more details to come from. But what we can tell, just by looking at the spray paint on the buildings, when you see F-12, that is the logo of the minions that are being trained to cause this chaos. Last time when it happened, we exposed this. I saw it firsthand right there in front of my face in Louisville. They were busting out windows everywhere, ransacking everything. It was highly organized. You could hear them chattering. You could see it right there on the footage. And loads of bricks and weapons were being dropped off. Yeah. Organized. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. Remember that? The footage of um, all these... Uh, my brain is tired. What are they called? Groups were being paid to come, throw bricks through windows, devastate businesses, and the uh, loads of bricks were just being dropped off on pallets, ready, you know, like, oh boy, here's our bricks, you know. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, it was, I thought all that was over BLM because of George Floyd being shot or killed because of a knee to the neck, remember? And then the other guy that got shot running away from the officers because he resisted arrest, they tried to do it the right way, and he takes off running and they shoot him in the back. Well, I just heard another guy do a report on that. That guy's not dead. He is paralyzed, is what he said, unless I'm getting the victims confused. Okay, that is highly likely. But anyway, this is, a, this is more. It's happening all over America. So heads up, if you're in a city, big city, I haven't heard a single word about it here in Birmingham, Alabama. I haven't heard of a curfew. Haven't heard anybody talk about it. So, I, I don't know where all it's going on. So, you might want to just have a heads up about it. If um, you are near in or near a large city, please go online and check out your local news. Okay, and with that I'll say, uh, I guess that's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, now I'm at 4 minutes 44, 45 and counting. <laughs> so bye for now. Have a blessed night and a wonderful weekend. And let us continue to pray 
that we may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.